I'm serious. I may never do a steak any other way other than this. Absolutely perfect. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to G-Rod Grills. My name is Gerardo and this is my channel. If you're into backyard barbecue on a variety of different grills, whether it's pellet, charcoal, electric, then you've hit the right place. So please consider subscribing because that's exactly what this channel is all about. Today I'm gonna to be doing a Chicago style Wagyu strip steak and it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna be doing it on my Pipos 440 using the Pipos charcoal pellets. Are you ready to get going? Let's go. All right, here we go. We got ourselves a beautiful Wagyu New York strip steak. You can see all that beautiful marbling all over. And it's gonna be absolutely delicious. I'm gonna keep this nice and simple. I'm just gonna do salt and pepper on top and I'll show you the rest right after we're done here. Wanna make sure you get both sides nicely covered so we'll flip her over and do it again. Beautiful, there you go. So far, nothing different, right? This looks great already. Here's the thing. For Chicago style, we need an awesome black crust all the way around, which I'm going to be doing over direct flames using my Pit Boss flame sear. Typically for Chicago style, you would use a melted butter or an oil of sorts to help create that crust. But today I'm gonna to be using mayonnaise. I know, before you get on me saying, hey G-Rod, what the heck are you doing? Putting mayonnaise on a Wagyu steak? You should be enjoying the flavor. I know, trust me. You won't taste it and the crust this is going to build is incredible. It's a great alternative to using butter or oil and in my opinion it actually works even better. You can leave me any angry comments below if you'd like but I'll tell you what. At the end of this I'm going to be eating a perfect steak with a fantastic crust. And there you go. Nicely covered in mayo. This is going to give us the fat we need to create that wonderful crust we want in a Chicago style steak. And it's going to be super awesome. Nothing else to do here. I'm going to let it sit at room temperature while I get the grill ready and up the temperature and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to get set this up. I've had this running for about 15-20 uh, minutes or so at 350 degrees so it's nice and warmed up in there. Uh, now we're going to get it going, getting ready for searing. What I'm going to do to make things easier on myself is I'm going to take this off. That way I can slide this grate nice and easy side to side as I need to. So we're going to be using very high heat here to start off. I'm going to be setting this to high. I'm going to do that right now. Now I'm just going to close the lid, let it heat up for about another 5 to 10 minutes. And then we're going to be ready to sear. All right, so I've had this heating up here for about five minutes or so, and we're ready to do a sear. Now, really important because this is set to high that you've cleaned your grill. I cannot stress that enough. I cleaned this this morning. It needs to be spotty clean so you don't get any sort of grease fire. Right now, we're going to sear for about two to three minutes per side. I'm going to keep the lid open just so that I can watch for flare-ups or anything like that. It is Wagyu, so it does have quite a bit of fat or marbling throughout. So it is possible that we get some good flare-ups and you can see some of the fire still starting to come up. So we want to make sure you sit here and watch to control it. See how we've got a nice little charred crust there. We got a nice little crust on this side here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this heat down to about 350 degrees. I'm gonna, so this is why we took the other one over. Slide it over and close the grate. Now the next step here is I'm going to put in my meter probe. And this is gonna tell me once we're at the temperature. I want it medium rare, so I'm gonna go to about 125 to 130 degrees. And then I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna let it rest. We're gonna close the lid now and it's going to cook at indirect heat now at 350 degrees until it's ready to go. I'll see you back when it's done. All right, here we go. I don't know, hopefully you can see that. It's beautiful steak. I've got a pad of uh, some compound butter here on top. I'm just gonna move that a little bit over so you can maybe see a little bit better. But 
perfect little crust on the outside. Oh, it smells so delicious. Well, let's cut into this baby, all right? Let's see, it's gonna cut right down the middle. Absolutely gorgeous, but you can see that. Perfect medium rare crust on the outside like no other, but wall to wall pink. Let's have a little taste of that, all right? Let's bring it a little bit closer and then let's have a taste. All right, all right, all right, all right, I'm so excited. Just gonna go ahead and cut a few strips here. Put a little bit of salt over top, just because that's how we do things around here. I don't know if you can see this. That crust, fantastic. It looks charred, but you know it's delicious. I don't even know what to tell you. I may not do a steak any other way than this one. That mayo, can't taste the mayo, but you can certainly taste the crust on the outside. And oh, the juices. I'm telling you, if you haven't done it this way, you need to. Mayonnaise, this thing is, is like, I don't know. It's some, some sort of voodoo condiment because it, it is absolutely fantastic. And of course it is Wagyu beef, so it's super tender to begin with. But wow, the flavor is just incredible. Again, the char on the outside, fabulous. Those charcoal pellets, although it's not the same as cooking on charcoal, but it does give it a little hint of different flavor, so which is nice. Now, I know I did this on a pellet grill. You don't have to do it in a pellet grill if you don't have one, if you have a charcoal grill, absolutely. Key thing, like I said earlier, make sure you keep it clean so you don't have any flare-ups or any huge grease fires, if, especially if you're using Wagyu beef. You're gonna get, you know, there's a lot of fat drippings that come down into the coals and that's gonna give you big flare-ups. Get it nice and close to the coals, sear it, you know, two, three minutes per side till you get that beautiful dark color. Put it in direct immediately after that, 300, 400 degrees, and just let it come to, temp to the temperature that you want. This is perfect for me, medium rare, wall to wall pink, 100, I think it finished at about 140 degrees. Absolutely perfect. That's all I got for you today. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button. Hopefully you're learning some. And if you want to see a little bit more of this, make sure you hit that subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss out on any content. Until next time, I'll catch you in the next G-Rod Wheels. I'm gonna eat some more.